Hello, I'm Argama, and I am back with, um, Live 2D. Uh, in the last part we did the hair, so when we move the head around we have, like, the hair. Um, and in this one I want to do the back braid. And... There's, um... Like, a couple ways we could do this braid. We could use the path deformers and just click, 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 click. Um, and then just wiggle it back and forth. Or we can try doing, uh, skinning. I think that's, that's what it's called. Yeah, we're gonna try skinning. Um, and that's gonna use, um, uh, these. Let me make sure I'm on the right thing. All right, so we're gonna click this, um, Rotate Deformer Creation Tool. Um, it's the two little Rotate Deformers. And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna kinda like grab the spots. Now, mind you, I sometimes have issues with this, but we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> uh, and what you do is you kinda like grab a starting point where you're gonna want it to like rotate and you move down, and then you like come down and you like grab another one, and another one another one and another one and for me I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna leave a little extra heading down and now you can see that we have all these rotations so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab all of them and I'm gonna come up here to modeling and go skinning and just click skinning so now what it did is it basically put it all in its own little thing and what we can do is add physics to it all natural, if you will. Uh, but what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna up here, deselect, so we're gonna hit just like control and then click on the braid part here. So we're only selecting these rotations. All right, and then we're gonna come up to modeling and then to skinning and we're going to do generate parameters for rotation deformer. What a mouthful. And I'm gonna call this back braid. Bam. And now this is gonna ask what angle you want. And that means it's gonna which angle you want each one of these to go on. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 15. Ha ha ha. So I'm gonna do 15. So it'll move 15 degrees this way, 15 degrees that way for each one of these. And then I hit okay. And now over here is create a folder called back braid in which it has moved each one. So, um, <laughs> super simple, right? Uh, now, now we uh, go over into our physics. Actually, let me, um, I'm gonna turn the back head. We are not gonna turn this braid on. We don't need that back braid on. And the face. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the physics setting. And I'm going to add, and it's going to call, be called braid. Input is going to be the head, and we're going to have a triple pendulum. Or oh, very long. Very long. Uh, all this is fine. And I'm going to add, and I'm going to come down here to where it's all the back braids, and I'm just going to click them all. Now, granted, we didn't add this to, like, move side by side yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to see how it's moving so far right now. Like, just the wiggle. Like, that's alright, but I want to increase this. Like, I'm going to do max increase and just see what it does. Look at that waggle. Wow. And how this basically works is, um, so the mesh that we had here, what it does is it, it cuts it and then it glues it together. Um, so there's gluing between these, and I would, I'm gonna try to explain gluing, but honestly, like, I've always, like, struggled with gluing, because you have to get the mesh right perfectly, which is why we made our own mesh. So you can see here, let's get rid of the face and the back. So you can see here where it says glue. Uh, so what that means is that it's glued to part of this, so these meshes overlap. And it's attaching these points to both, which is why it's it's um, why we've specifically made this mesh uh, symmetrical, so it would have an easy time gluing. 
Um, but now that we have that, we have this, which is this ro rotation thing. Uh, I'm going to take it and I'm going to just throw in like a deformer and this is just going to be braid XY. And I can put the head and the face a bit. Alright, so now the head should kind of turn with with all that. Now, thankfully, that was easy. Haha! -ha. I've had problems with it before in the past. Um, and usually my problems end up being like the meshes don't attach properly. And in that case, you can either individually move the meshes. Uh, I mean, the vertices. Like, if they didn't move, you could just like pick it up and move it where it needs to be for each one, which is what I've had to do in the past. Um, or you could re... Um, uh, mesh it, make it more balanced, symmetrical, something easier for it to cut, especially in those places. We're not quite done with the face. We still have the ears to do, which I've been putting off. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the ears. We have uh, three parts of the ears. We have the front, the back, and the floof, right? Um, so I'm going to turn the ear this way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these just, um, I'm going to move them individually or I want to put them into formers. I'm going to move them individually because I'm going to put them into former for physics. Uh, let's, let's turn off the front and whatever ear and we're just going to kind of move this into place. You know what? I should actually turn on, look, I'm having, I'm having a rough day today. Okay. Look, I have been making all the mistakes. All of the mistakes today, and I just, I just need you to, to know that. Okay. Yeah, okay. And the reason I do the back first is it'll make it easier for the front. The face forward is good. When it's turned this way, I want it to be, well, we're going to move it to kind of line up with this, rotate, and I want it to cover a bit more. So I'm going to kind of go like that, make it a little bigger, and then adjust to where it's covering. And then when it's over here, I'm gonna like shrink it a bit and then adjust it to where it's like open wider. So you see more of the inside of the ear. Yep, 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 yep. Now, if you did it the deformer way, you could add like um, one of the path deformer physics to it. I'm gonna do just a gentle kind of uh, warp deformer for when I do the physics of the ear. My problem is, is that people tend to make the ears much more wiggly than they should be. Even mine are more wiggly than they should be. Um, but I mean, they make them like almost like a wave. Um, and animal ears really aren't that physics <laughs> Um, but yeah. All right. So let me do this one now. So we got the uh, the ears kind of going, doing their thing. Now we're going to do the ear fluff, which honestly, I, I'm going to, I don't really need to put a deformer in there, but I'm going to anyways. And I'm going to make this super quick is I'm just going to kind of, shoof, shoof. you'd see more when it's turned this way. You'd see less when it's turned this way.
now we have ears in there. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're gonna add some ears physics. We're gonna just add a little bit. Um, we're gonna do two sets of ear motions. Um, so the first one, let me grab an ear, it doesn't matter which one. I'm grabbing all parts of it, the outer, inner, uh, fluff. And I'm gonna just do ear, right, physics. And we're gonna just take this down. And over here in the physics, I'm just gonna add ear. Here, I'm just gonna kind of drag it over and mind you this is a very simplified way there is uh, more complicated ways um, again you can do path formers you can do like you can cut it into multiples but I'm just gonna kind of do it like this uh, I don't personally want my ears to be overly physics eed but I'll just, it's just gonna kind of be like that. Wow, 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 wow. Um, and I'm gonna do the same for this, except kind of the opposite. All right, well, so it's getting a little wiggle. Um, I'm gonna go back and grab all these things again, and I'm going to put a, a rotation deformer inside of the physics and this is going to be ear left rotate mind you i am having a really bad day today <laughs> so um yeah i might not do too much in the part as far as you know work on this but uh hit control and grab the center point in order to move it and we're going to kind of move it down here and then while holding control, you can rotate it around. And if you want to make it longer, you hit Alt and you can drag it to where you want it. So this is going to do an ear rotation. Um, and I'm going to grab the other one as well while I'm at it. So I'm going to grab these three. I'm going to do ear right rotate. And that's sitting control, bringing it down, kind of rotating it. Alt up. Uh, and I don't know the Mac controls, I'm sorry. Um, and for this, what I'm going to do is, like in mine, there's a brief wiggle, a, the tiniest of waggle. Uh, I'm going to attach those to like the eye blink blankies. Um, so we're on the right, so I want the right eye to be affected. And so when it's down, it's just going to just briefly, and when it goes up, it's just gonna come up just the boy fist. Yeah. That's really all I want. Um, and you can do this with the deformer as well, but I just, this is fine. This is fine. So down through the blanks, and for the surprise, we go up a little. Um, and I'm gonna go over into the physics. I'm going to add, I'm going to do ears, I'm going to do head, I'm going to do short. I always just pick pick the hair, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna add ear. So you can see with the blinks that it does blonk blonk. Increase the output. All right, so that six seconds is a bit long. Maybe four. But that's how long it's gonna linger. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that looks fine. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do for this tutorial. Um, I spent way too long on it, but um, yeah, if uh, you like this tutorial and you want to see more from me, then please subscribe. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess in the next one we're gonna finally start working on the body because I think we're mostly done with the head. I mean, we didn't do the expressions, but we'll do that later. Yeah, and we'll do some body. We'll do the uh, X and I mean the Z and some other stuff. All right. See you later. Bye.